I'm Eddie Field with Field Guided DIY. This is part two of the PAX Closet Remodel. If you missed part one, click the link here or in the description to make sure you see part one. We start by demoing the rest of the closet, removing the closet made shelving and baseboard. Since we already installed one cabinet, we have to assemble the rest of the cabinets in the bedroom. You can see I was able to maneuver the packed closet cabinet by myself. I slid it on towels to protect the tile floor. Once the second cabinet is in place, I adjust the leveler to make sure the cabinet leans back against the wall and the bottom shelf and top shelf align. Then make sure the face of both cabinets are even. A clamp comes in real handy once the face, top, and bottom are lined up. I used one of the shelf pin holes to drill through to attach the PAX closet cabinets together with the threaded collar and bolt provided. Once the two cabinets are together, we finish up by inserting the caps into the screw holes and snapping on the L-bracket plastic covers. Back to the bedroom to assemble another PAX closet cabinet. Drag number three into the closet. Put it in a position, level it, and attach number three to number two, and so on. We were so fortunate because the closet itself is 142 and a half inches wide. So with three 39 and three quarter inch cabinets and one 29 and a half inch cabinet, we had a quarter of an inch to spare on both sides. Our next video, we're going to start adding the complement components that make this unit so versatile. Click the image on the screen now.